Welcome back to the channel. I wouldn't call this an emergency video, but I'm putting this out there to get some feedback from the community and from you if, you're, if you've noticed this and maybe how it's affecting your use of WordPress. So about four weeks ago, when 6.5.3 came out, uh, it broke the way plugins are activated. And the, the biggest issue here is any big plugin that has an onboarding wizard when you install the plugin and it and it walks you through setting it up that function is broken because it no longer refreshes the page uh, to load the onboarding wizard that most plugins uh, use and it's just the way it's been for quite some time they're doing this for plugin dependency reasons uh, a lot of that technical stuff slightly above uh, my pay grade but the idea is we're missing the the user experience of installing a plugin and then being able to go through a typical onboarding experience that you would get with any piece of software, not just WordPress, but if you sign up to a new a Gmail account, if you set up a new app on your phone, you are walked through setting this up. And that's how a lot of plugins function for very good reason. <laughs> and uh, we want that back. So I want to I'll link up both of these track tickets. One of them is more active right now. Uh, and there's a lot of great thoughts and feedback in here, largely obviously from plugin uh, developers and commercial and free, giving their feedback on how this should work. So part of this video is to show you, look, here's how some of these issues are being discussed. Uh, so if you're trying to figure out when are they gonna fix this, how are they gonna fix it? Here's your chance to jump into what's known as a track ticket uh, on wordpress.org so you can uh, dive in and not only read how these things were being addressed, but even apply your own comments. So I implore you uh, to do that. Let's take a look at the issue at hand. Right now I'm running on the playground. This is version 6.4. It's the easiest way to show you this. But if you look at a plugin like Yoast SEO and uh, we'll install it. Once that's installed, we hit activate. And this is how it worked in the past. Uh, you loaded right into their onboarding tool and uh, you know a brand new user into the Yoast plugin could go ahead and start setting up Yoast or any other plugin that had a, a bigger, more dynamic onboarding experience like this. And now, if we go to WordPress 6.5, run the same experiment, plugins, add new, Yoast, install now, and click activate, nothing happens. Not until the page refreshes and that onboarding wizard has the chance to kick in. So for a brand new user who, who might not know their way around WordPress, it's the first time they install and activate a plugin, now they're kind of sitting here going, uh, what happened? What do I do next? And you click on more details. Do I, do I run the search again? Did it install? I don't see it on the left-hand side. Now, chances are somebody's going to click something and it's going to reload the page or they might hit reload uh, as maybe their, their first gut instinct, but I, I doubt it. And either way, it is a sort of broken experience. You install a piece of software, you're ready to set it up, you expect it to set up. And, and even myself as a veteran, I'm still forgetting, like, what's happening? Did I install this plugin? Oh yeah, that's right. It's, it's not loading these, these wizards again. We have to do that. So I'll just go ahead and hit refresh on the page. And actually, that's not going to work because of the playground. So let's do that again. Add new. Yoast. Playground doesn't hold it. Uh, for whatever reason, whatever reason I refresh, it breaks that. So now we've activated it. I'll go ahead and click on settings. Now my Yoast uh, onboarding wizard has kicked off. And I can go through and, and set this up. And you now you see Yoast in the left-hand admin bar. And uh, folks can start, you know, using it. So if you weren't using this uh, playground experience and you hit refresh, it would just load your onboarding wizard or you'd click something on the left hand side. It would it would load that. But even that would be strange to somebody. They would say, well, why well, I click if I clicked on settings and all of a sudden it pulled up the Yoast um, onboarding wizard. It's just a very disjointed experience right now. And I think most plugin authors and probably most users want that to come back. They want it to uh, just send somebody into an onboarding wizard to help them get set up. So lots of great thoughts here. Definitely jump into these tickets, uh, which I'll link in the comments below. Some pretty deep thoughts here from Syed Balki, of course, uh, famous for co uh, founding Awesome Motive and a bunch of other uh, really great developers in these threads. So check it out.
That's how you can see this stuff getting worked on behind the scenes. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. As always, it's the WP Minute. Get your weekly five minutes of WordPress news at the wpminute.com slash subscribe. It's the number one way to stay connected. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for the channel if you want more. And we'll see you, quite literally, you'll see me in the next video, just not this one. We'll see you in the next video.